A useful feature of Darwin's theory of evolution is that it's scientific and can be verified. The theory of evolution by natural selection is testable. If the theory is correct, biologists should be able to test the validity of each of Darwin's postulates. So let's look at some modern research and attempt to test the four postulates. For example, in 1983, the environment on the Galapagos Islands changed again. Over a seven month period, a total of 1,359 millimeters of rain fell, 10 times the average annual rainfall. Finches fed primarily on the small, soft seeds that were now being produced in abundance. During this interval, small individuals with small pointed beaks had exceptionally high reproductive success. They had higher fitness than those with large, deep beaks because they were better able to harvest the small seeds. The characteristics of the population changed again. Alleles for small, pointed beaks increased in frequency. Over subsequent decades, the grants have documented evolution in response to other changes in the environment. These graphs show changes that have occurred in average body size, beak size, and beak shape over 35 years. From 1972 to 2006, average body size got smaller and average beak size initially increased and then declined. In addition, finch beaks got much pointier. Long-term studies like this are proving to be very useful in documenting natural selection in response to changes in the environment. Since they can accurately document natural selection in response to observable changes in the environment.